Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. This week we're going to be going out into the Everglades and we're going to be looking for some bugs. So I'm here with Phil and Sensei Orion. You've seen him in some videos before, and he's going to show us how we how we go out um, and find inverts. What are we looking for tonight, Orion? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to actually find praying mantises, which surprisingly enough, no one really knows that they exist here in Florida. I'm going to show you that they do exist and how easy they are to find. Now, if you don't have a trained eye, you're really not going to find them. Um, we're also going to hopefully find some black widows. We're also going to hopefully find some scorpions today. I'm also going to show you a number of different types of, of uh, spiders out here. And we're just going to have a good old time. Okay, guys, I think we're going to see some really cool stuff tonight. tonight so stay tuned, and we're going to show you how we do it. Making, making their nests for the night. We got one, we got two, we have three, four, five. Oh, maybe six. What we have here is what's called an Uthica. An Uthica is an egg case that's made by certain animals, and this one in particular is by the Carolina Praying Mantis. And if you see all those little holes, it's already hatched. This is a good sign because this just means that this Praying Mantis is around. All right guys, that little spider, awesome find. That is called a red and black prowling spider. This is also, the scientific name is Taminius insularis. And she looked like she just had a big old meal. Look at that thing. These guys, these what these guys actually specialize in eating are other wolf spiders. This is a type of hunting spider. And what they do is they make this thick, 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 silky webbing that's extremely sticky. And a lot of animals actually get caught in it and then they just savagely attack it. These guys, pound for pound, is stronger than a lot of wolf spiders out there. That's why these things can kill them. Welcome back to another creature feature. Is that a baby crocodile? No, that's a red-eyed croc skin. Check this thing out. This thing is so cool looking, and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys some cool facts. So these guys are from uh, Papua New Guinea. They're also from Indonesia, or is Papua New Guinea a part of Indonesia? So these guys, um, they're very cool. They only live about uh, 10 years. Some people have claimed that they've lived longer under their care, um, but it hasn't been fully researched yet. Um, most sites, most sources claim that they only live about 10 years. Personally, I haven't kept one its entire lifespan, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, they are insectivores, so you're gonna wanna feed them a variety of insects, uh, crickets, mealworms, roaches if you can. You're gonna wanna dust their meals every other meal uh, with uh, calcium, with D3. They do need that extra calcium in their diet. Um, these guys are really cool because they only live by themselves uh, individually and in groups of two and sometimes they also live in family structures with a male and a female and a baby. Speaking of setup, you are going to want to provide them with a lot of floor space, um, at least three square feet as well as a nice big water bowl. They are kind of semi-aquatic, they can hold their breath for quite a while, they like to be near a, a large source of water. You're going to want to provide them with a lot of hiding spots. This can be achieved through a bunch of hide boxes, or you can achieve that with um, some sterilized leaf litter for them to hide under. That would also work very well for them. Um, if at all possible, provide them with some microfauna, like some isopods and some springtails. Um, they really benefit from that, as well as live plants. If you can't, you know, just fake plants and then you try to feed them a variety of insects will work just fine. Um, other than that, they're really cool. They're, they're actually kind of new to the pet trade. They were only introduced in like the 90s when they were imported. 
and ever since then they've just been a smash hit you know they're super cool looking oh one thing i did want to include though i know i just picked them up you're not really supposed to handle them too much they do get stressed out this is more of a display animal uh more something get that fly out of here <laughs> more something you just want to look at rather than touch all the time kind of like chameleons they do get stressed fairly easily again super cool animal you know if you have a, a terrarium they, they stay small um, it's a it's a great animal if you're not looking to get something that's gonna get you know huge like a tegu or an iguana you just want something small and manageable these are a great option if you're looking to set up a really cool enclosure that's more for display purposes more to liven up your house you know these are a really great option because they're really cool to look at and you can set them up with a, a bunch of really cool live uh, plants and live bioactive um, live microfauna um, so yeah we should have some available for the next few weeks at least so check them out yeah i can feel it a little bit All right, guys. Awesome, 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 awesome. Remember how I was bringing up the uh, Uthika? Well, we just spotted our first praying mantis. Right here. Right there. And it's munching on something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is the Carolina praying mantis. These guys, fun little fact, these guys can actually change color depending on their environment. And they change color per molt. That means these animals can be brown, green, silver, reds, purples, almost marble colors, all different patterns. These guys only live about eight months from baby to full size adult. And I've actually bred these animals myself. And despite most praying mantises eating their uh, partner almost immediately, you guys keep these well fed. Sometimes they won't even eat them, which is actually a really cool fact. The males have wings that can fly, the females do not. Also at night, they get these big old black bug eyes, which is kind of just creepy, but some people like it. All right guys, so unfortunately we got rained out tonight. Uh, we got caught in just a downpour, so. Um, we didn't get to show you as much stuff as we wanted to. Uh, we did get to see the mantis, you know, and some other cool things. But we're definitely going to go out um, with Orion again soon. And he's going to show us, you know, scorpions and black widows and all kinds of other cool stuff like that. Um, but thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.